Hi all. Today we'll discuss something about VS Code extensions. So for example, if I am working in a project where I feel some extensions would help my project to build faster and to make understand and auto complete, beautify, minify, all these things I can do. So if I have some set, set of extensions in my mind where I would be recommend to my teammates to install those extensions in their missions. So I can't go to each and every teammate and I can't recommend uh, the set of uh, extensions to be installed. If there is one more person, new person joining my project and team as well, I can't explain him the same. I mean, uh, download these extensions. So this helps us to build our project very faster. So I can't explain each and every one. So for that, what we can do, we need to do that in the part of the code. So we need to write a set of uh, uh, a JSON file and you can keep the set of extensions in that JSON file so that next time when the users or the team members when they clone the project from the git repo VS code will give a pop up pop up which allows the teammates to download these extensions it will show the recommendations which we have populated so uh, let's see that in with an example So here I have taken one example. Example project have clone from create react app. So in order to do that, I mean the extensions part, I need to create one folder dot VS code. We need to name this with dot VS code and I need to create a file in that called as extensions dot JSON. In this JSON file, I need to define the set of recommendations so as i said it is a recommendation so these are the recommendations so it was auto populated recommendations it is an array here you need to give an uh, comma separated extension values so now you go to the tab of fourth tab like this extensions so here are set of extensions which you can uh, say to use to the teammates if i click apollo graphql here so this is for querying the request from the DB. So if I suggest this to the, our teammates, I need to copy this. I mean, this is known as an extension identifier. This is like an unique ID. So if, if uh, we say uh, go and uh, download or install GraphQL extension. So if he type here GraphQL, there would be n number of GraphQL suggestions VS code would be giving. So, but the one we want is this one. So, we we need to give this extension id instead asking them to search and install some extension which is not known or which is not identical to the uh, which we have installed so we need to copy this I extension identifier this works as an id unique id to this extension so i need to copy this and i need to give here okay so for some x reason we are unable to copy here so i have manually you can uh, type it in that case so I have uh, copied this extension Apollo GraphQL and later on there would be some other extensions known as Docker extension. So I would add Docker as well. So you, you can search here and you can give the unique identifier, the extension identifier here. So a couple of extensions I can add like uh, lint issues. If, if I want a style lint, yes lint, or autocomplete to do highlights. So there are a couple of extensions and recommendations which we can give here. So I can give the cloud, uh, cloud code or Python. Yeah, let me give this Python as well. So ms python dot python. Okay. So there are a set of three recommendations I am giving. So now I will push this code to the Git. I will push this code. Added recommendations. So I'm pushing this to the git. So I will clone this in uh, one of the other uh, folder. So I will try to clone it. And again, I, I will uh, open the newly cloned project in the Visual Studio. Then we can see what exactly I'm talking about. So this is a, uh, I have uh, pushed my code. So let me check whether we got the Visual Studios here. Yes, VS Code was added here. 
so i have to take i will uh, clone this project yep it was cloned now so now uh, i will uh, open this in the visual studio before that i will uh, close this yeah this is the one we need so i am opening this in visual studio code so as on when you open this visual studio code if you observe the visual studio will pop us the recommendations which we have see this workspace sorry i will push this side so here if you see this workspace has some extension recommendations so we have given install all or show recommendation this this would be appear to all our teammates who is cloning this project so thereafter he can see the recommendations what we have added or he can install all them so in this way all our teammates would be in a same page in terms of extensions so there won't be any problem at the time of git conflicts uh, git push and commit so because i use four indentations and someone may use two indentations in the code so this may occur a git conflicts like, like that so if all of the teammates uses the same extensions will be on the same page and the development would be very faster so here if you see uh, i'm clicking show recommendations so now it is showing all the three recommendations which we have added so all these three recommendations we have added so if we want you can click this and you can ignore the recommendations if not you can install all here is an option called install all if not you can see what how we have wrote the configurations if i click here i will go to the extension part if not if i click here i can go to the install recommended recommendations extension recommendations so i'm clicking install so all the recommended extensions would be installed here so this is how we can achieve the recommended extensions within our project teammates so hope you understand the video thanks for watching thank you